Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be doing another freight car here, and we're going to be building this hydrochloric acid take car with the red stripe. And this is an updated take car build since the last time we did one, which is right over here. As you can see, this one wasn't quite as detailed or shaped right, so we've done an update. Mainly, I've tried to do what others have done and round off the end of the tank here a bit. And also underneath, we just have these two mounts on each end with the bottom of the tank being the structure. The last one I did had a beam running all the way underneath and that wasn't correct. So this is what it looks like here. Now let's get right into our build. So as usual, we're gonna start off with the coupler. So we're gonna take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer here in the middle. Under it, a sideways dark oak bench gate. Then on the next block forward on the bottom, we're going to put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to do two rows of three upside down deep slate tile stairs and a back to back T-shaped pattern. Then in front of this another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then go through and add two fence gate on the side middle here, two on this side, then put a hopper on all four of these wheels. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper. And then same thing, over on this side put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper over here. Then we're going to come on this top middle and put four quartz blocks on the center. And then another two past the wheels. Under these two, we're going to put two smooth quartz slabs on the bottom of them in the center. Then we're going to come up here on this second layer with our quartz blocks in the middle again. And we're going to do another nine blocks down the middle past those slabs. So once we have a row of nine here, we're going to add two more right here. And under these bottom two, put two smooth cord slabs like this. Then on the next block behind this, put another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then again, we'll go three wide of upside down deep slate tile stairs in a back to back T shaped pattern. Then in front of this, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then two fence gates on each side of this. And then go through and put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Then we're gonna crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper. And then same thing on this side here. And then we'll come on top of this and we'll add four quartz blocks on this top middle. Then on the end here, we need to get a dark oak stair stacked up on this block, going this way for the coupler, and then a fence gate underneath the stair. Then we're going to come on top here, and we're going to put a smooth quartz bottom slab here and the block on the corner. Same thing here, so it's bottom slab, then a block. Then in front of it, on this outer edge, put one bottom slab here, one here, and then an outward facing smooth quartz stair on this edge here. Same thing on this side, an outward facing stair here. Repeat at this other end. So we're going to put a bottom slab here, then a block on the corner on each side. Then a bottom slab here and here. Then an outward facing stair here. And one on this side right here. Next, we're going to come behind where this stair is and put an upside down smooth cord stair facing outward going into it right here and same thing on this side. On this top middle right here, three smooth quartz blocks. And then we're gonna repeat on this end, so behind this stair, an upside down stair going outwards, and here, then three smooth quartz blocks on this top middle. And actually, we're gonna extend this out by one, so we're gonna add another upside down smooth quartz stair here, and then here, and three smooth quartz blocks on top. And we will repeat it on this side. So we'll add an upside down stair in this hole here, in here, and then three blocks on the top like that. Now we're gonna come on this central beam on this second layer here. And we need to find the middle. So we'll put four smooth cord stairs upside down on either side and actually another one. So we have five blocks in the center. On the central five, put five upside down red nether brick stairs take out this row of blocks behind it and change it to five red nether brick blocks so we have our center. Then five upside down red nether brick stairs here and then five 
cave upside down, smooth court stairs on either side of this, like that. Then we're gonna take out end rods here, and we're gonna come off this outer stair, and we're gonna put three sideways end rods in a row right here. And we'll repeat from this end off this stair. So three sideways end rods. And then a birch fence right here. Then in front of the fence, we're going to add another three sideways end rods. And they've been so tricky to place on a mobile phone since the last update. And then we're going to add three on this side as well coming off this fence. really tricky to do. Then on this central block, put a mangrove fence here. Now we need to repeat the whole process on this end. So come off this stair. We're going to do three sideways end rods, then a birch fence, then three sideways end rods again. Repeat from this end. So come off this, three end rods, a birch fence, three end rods. Then on the center, we're gonna put a mangrove fence here. Next, we're gonna come underneath the very center of this and put a polished deep slate slab on bottom for the drain port. Then we're gonna come above this stair here and put an upside down smooth court stair here and a row of upside down stairs over to here. Then right here, five upside down red nether brick stairs. Then back to smooth courts here upside down and we'll bring it over until it's above this stair right here like this. Then we need to repeat on the other side. So start right here with upside down smooth cord stair. Bring it over to here. Then five upside down red nether brick stairs. And then back to smooth cords and over to your right here. Then on top of this row, we're gonna go five wide of smooth cords blocks right here. And then same thing on this end, five wide of smooth quartz blocks right here as well. Next, starting on this corner, we're gonna do three black wool here, two smooth quartz, then five red nether brick, then a smooth quartz block here, then a gold block, smooth quartz, black wool, smooth quartz. And we're gonna repeat that pattern on this side. So right here, three black wool, two smooth quartz, then five red nether brick, then smooth quartz, gold, smooth quartz, black wool, smooth quartz. Then we're gonna come on the top of this here, do a row of smooth quartz stairs across this, five red nether brick stairs here, then smooth quartz across this. Right up here, three smooth quartz blocks on the end, then a row of smooth quartz stairs across here, then five red nether brick stairs, then smooth quartz down to the end here, and three smooth quartz blocks here. Then we're gonna come on the top middle here, put a smooth quartz block here, bring it down the center till it's lined up here, then five red nether brick blocks in the middle, and then smooth quartz blocks down to this end here. And then of course, fill this in, so a row of smooth quartz stairs across this, and then across this end, Repeat on this side, a row of smooth court stairs across this end, and then across this end. In the middle, we'll put five red nether brick stairs here, and then five here. Now we're gonna detail the end, which I actually messed up here, because there's supposed to be a gap on bottom. So we're gonna come down here, take off these three blocks, and then this one, and this one. Then we're gonna come up here and we'll put one smooth quartz up here in the middle with an upside down smooth quartz stair on either side so there's a hole. Then three smooth quartz blocks, one on the top middle and an outward facing stair on either side, then a smooth quartz slab up here in the center. So it looks like that and we need to repeat on this end. So we'll take off this block and this stair, this block and this stair, We'll add an upside down stair facing outward here and here. Then three blocks above it, 
one on the top middle, an outward facing stair on either side up here, and a slab on this top middle. So it looks like that. Then come down here. We're gonna put a bridge fence on each of these corners and three fence gates across the middle here. Then we'll also add a fence gate on the side of this block here and on this side. Then repeat at this end, so we're gonna add a fence gate here and here. Then a birch fence on each top corner and three fence gates across the end here. Now we're gonna add details, so we're gonna swing around here and we're gonna change this stair to an upside down bamboo stair here. And then also this one to bamboo. Then next to this coal block, change this one to bamboo as well. We'll come down here and we'll actually change this one under this to a bamboo. So there's four. Then repeat on this side so this one changes to a bamboo stair. Then this one. Then this one right here. And then this one. Then we're going to take a bamboo sign and add one on the middle right here. Come over here and add one on the middle right here. Then we'll repeat on this side and add one sign on the center here one sign on the center here. Then up here, we're gonna do a dark oak sign and a black stone button. Then right here, two buttons. Repeat over on the other end. So we're gonna add a dark oak sign and a button right here. Then two black stone buttons here. Then come on the end and we're gonna put one button on the center right here. Then repeat on this side and put one button on the center right here. Then down here, close the jungle trap door for our brake wheel. Then we're going to do our hazmat placard, so we're going to put an item frame here and put a redstone block turned on its diamond side like that. Then we're going to come right here and we're going to put one on this fence here with a redstone block turned this way. Then come on the end, item frame here, redstone block turned this way. And then get this side and put one on this fence, same thing, a redstone block turned this way. Then starting on this fence here, put a column of mangrove fence gates four tall, then one up on this stair. Repeat on this side, so start on this fence, and four mangrove fence gates in a column right here for the ladder, then one up on this stair, then on this top middle, a mangrove trap door in the center. On one side of it, we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull, on the other side, a red nether brick block. Then we're gonna add three mangrove fence gates here, one going this way on either side of this block, then one here and here, and three going this way right here. Behind that, a row of iron trap doors down this top middle to the end here. And same thing on this side, a row of iron trap doors up here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Minecraft hydrochloric acid tank car in our new updated tank car build. So I hope everyone enjoyed the improvements here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.